Hey there, it's Joe Boy Beer again from JB Web Tech. Uh, I wanted to make this presentation today to show you how to download, install, and run the Malwarebytes anti-malware program. Uh, this is an excellent program for removing viruses, spyware, worms, trojans, rootkits, and other malicious software that may be infecting your computer. So uh, let's get right into it. Uh, we're going to go into a web browser, and we're going to go to my website, jbwebtech.net. Uh, in the right hand column towards the bottom here I have a links of interest section and uh, in this section I have the uh, Malwarebytes anti-malware link uh, this first one goes to the Malwarebytes Corporation homepage and this one next to it goes to the CNET download page so uh, let's click on the CNET link now a lot of times when I bring people uh, to this page they uh, they get confused they see this advertisement at the top here and they think this is what I want them to click on to, uh, get, to get the program. Um, this is just an advertisement. About, it says, you know, start download and people get confused. They think this is what they should be clicking on to get the program, but no. Actually, what you want to click on is on the left hand side here, underneath where it says Malwarebytes Anti Malware, there's this Download Now link. Uh, let's click on that. Okay, Internet Explorer is just uh, protecting me uh, from an inadvertently downloading a file. I'm going to come up to the information bar up here and I'm going to say it's okay to download the file. Alright, I got a couple of options here. I can either run it or save it. Uh, if you want to save it to your desktop or uh, somewhere on your computer and uh, maybe you want to copy it uh, to another computer to run it and install it on there, that's fine. I'm just going to go ahead and click the run button so it will download it and uh, run it right away. Okay, so it's about seven and a quarter megs. Downloads pretty pretty quickly on a, on a broadband connection. Okay, so now Internet Explorer is asking me do I really want to run the program? So let's, yes, let's run it. And what we're running is what we just downloaded that's the installation program for the malware bytes. I'm going to minimize these two browser windows, get them out of the way. Um, so this is the wizard for the uh, Malwarebytes installation. We're just going to follow it through, basically clicking OK and Next and accepting all the default values. So the setup language, English, OK. The welcome screen, hit Next. The license agreement, it's a good idea. You should probably just read through all of this. And uh, when you've done that, accept the agreement and hit next. Uh, this is just informational uh, what's been updated in this latest release. So hit next. This is where we want to install the program to on our computer. So we're going to leave it in the program files directory. We'll hit next. We want to create a startup group uh, and they will call it this Mal Malwarebytes Anti Malware. So hit next. Yes, I'm going to create a desktop icon. I should put it right up here somewhere. Hit next. And then this is just a summary of our selections, uh, the options that we chose. Uh, so we're going to go ahead and install it now. And uh, it should install fairly quickly. And here it is, it's all set. There's the icon on the desktop. Uh, when it's complete, it's going to ask us if we want to update the database and then uh, launch the program. So let's go ahead and do that. Okay, so now it's downloading the database update. It's about six megs right now. Okay, and there it is. The database was successfully updated. We hit OK. Now we're going to wait for it to start. Now, normally when you are, um, so if you're going to run this manually, what you want to do is always come to the update tab and do the check for updates before you do a manual scan. Uh, of course right now we just updated it so there's no uh, definition files to download. So we'll hit OK. But it's always a good idea to just make sure it's updated before you do the scan. Um, and for the purposes of this demonstration I'm going to leave it at a quick scan. Uh, if, you, uh, if you know you have a virus or you, you highly suspect you have you know, uh, some kind of malware on your computer, you should do a full scan. Uh, but I'm going to do a quick scan for right now. 
Um, I have, it's important to note that I have six files up here that are uh, virus uh, test files. So it should pick them up. Um, <clears throat> what I'm going to do is I'm actually going to, I'm going to pause the video because this should take about three minutes. See, it had already picked up the six objects. I'm going to pause the video right now, then I'm going to try to resume it uh, in, a, in a couple minutes uh, when it gets towards the end of it. Okay, uh, we're back. Uh, it's a little over two minutes right now. I can tell it's almost done because it says it's scanning additional items. Uh, okay, and there it is. It's all set. Uh, so when it's done, it's going to tell you that the scan completed and to click the Show Results button uh, to show uh, the infected objects. We're going to hit OK. Uh, we're going to hit the Show Results button. And here are the six files that it picked up. That would be these six files up top here. Uh, you notice they're all on the desktop. Um, by default, uh, they will all be checked. So if you have a lot of viruses, a lot of you know malware on here, you don't have to check each one individually. They're all going to be checked for you. Um, if you don't want to remove a file, um, then you would have to manually uncheck it. But we're going to leave everything checked, and we're going to hit the uh, click the Remove Selected button. And there it is. You can see right off the bat that all six of these files disappeared. And it's going to give you a log. It tells you, uh, um, you know, if there were any memory processes infected, uh, memory modules that were infected, registry keys, values, data, any folders that were infected. And uh, here are the six files that it found that were infected. Um, so you can just close this log. And uh, now it's asking us to, uh, to restart the computer to uh, complete the removal process. So that's it. That's the Malwarebytes. Um, it's an excellent, uh, excellent tool to remove malware from your computer. Uh, I hope you found this video to be interesting and helpful to you. Uh, for more instructional videos and helpful computer tips and tricks, please head on over to jbwebtech.net and check out my blog section. Thanks for watching and we'll see you again soon.